the Hume um, monument over there is the Celtic cross. It's very beautiful. Right here is the Nims monument. It uh, was actually carved, I believe, in Germany and brought over here to Evergreen. So I'm proud to present City of the Dead. This is our 10th anniversary. The dates are Saturday, October 12th from 5 to 8 p.m. and Sunday, October 13th from 2 to 4 p.m. So the first tour will start Saturday at 5 o'clock and the last tour will step off at 8 p.m. As you can tell from their monument, it's a Celtic cross. It has a lot of Celtic carvings in it. It's very beautiful. Uh, the, the City of the Dead, uh, this is our 10th year of doing this event. Uh, it is a respectful telling of the stories of the uh, men and women who helped make Muskegon what it is today. Uh, it tells the story of both famous people like uh, Mr. Hackley, who uh, I think you can see his mausoleum uh, behind me, but um, also we uh, really make an effort to find obscure people, uh, people like uh, lumber uh, camp cooks, lumberjacks. I'm one of the original cast members for City of the Dead. We've done this for 10 years now and um, the character I'm playing this year is Nelski Verkman Wagenmacher who is buried in Potter's Field. There's no marker to mark my grave and I'm an immigrant who came from Groningen, Netherlands and was only here eight months when I died. Um, this is the first year that we are playing Alberta and it was a nice uh, runoff of the casket maker daughter with the immigrant that uh, probably ended up using one of those caskets. To, to learn about the history of Muskegon, Fred is probably not as well known as a lot of the uh, uh, people that are in the cemetery, but he had he did a lot you know, through, he was considered an industrialist and a fin financier. He had uh, Flanders Financial Company in the area and uh, helped with a lot of businesses in the area at the time. He had purchased property. He was one that uh, was not hit as hard by uh, during the Depression. Uh, was able to um, help people that I think lot, quietly. He wasn't the type that you see his name on things, but he, uh, as I say, he did help with the, um, you know, the employment situation back in the early 50s. Uh, my character is Captain Jonathan Walker, the man with the branded hand. He tried to uh, uh, rescue some slaves down in Florida seven years or eight years prior to the Civil War, got caught, put in prison for a year, became nationally famous because they branded his hand with an SS for slave stealer. We'll see you at Muskegon City of the Dead. Mm -hmm.